Welcome back, my friends. One of the breakout stars of Selling Sunset is coming to the Mall of America today to promote her a new book. Chriselle's new book is called Under Construction, and it chronicles her life from growing up in Kentucky, uh, getting a part on All My Children, and now uh, a high-end real estate agent. So listen to this. Recently, producer Ted Johnson chatted with her over Zoom about the book. Now, Leo, don't roll it yet. Uh, talked about the book, soap operas, and her life as a reality TV star. We're calling this just like Barbara Walters. The Ted Johnson interview. Look at this. Rochelle, thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Um, your book, your book starts off, we learn about your childhood. I can't help but think like where you grew up, how you grew up is like totally different from where you are right now. And they couldn't be more different. That is correct. Yes. It's been quite the journey, Ted. <laughs> yeah. So you were you were homeless, based homeless, kind of moving around as a child, um, and that kind of got you to be resilient and scrappy, and and kind of tell us about that. Yeah, I, I mean, it was you know we growing up, you know we had, you know we lived in a family where you know my dad was a mechanic. It's a small town. There's only so much business. Um, and my mom, you know, she would always try and find odd jobs and, you know, they dealt with other things that I get into in the book that are, you know, that had, you know, that we had some odds stacked against us. It wasn't just money. And, you know, so it was tough and we're always, you know, whether we're couch surfing at, you know, a, a cousin's house or we're, you know, getting those eviction notices and, you know, in a car or figuring it out. Uh, you know, I would watch these soaps with my with my family. They and, and I would just idolize these women, and I just saw this glamorous life outside of everything I ever saw my world to be. And I just wanted to be in that life. And so I just, you know, made a plan. Okay, this is what I want to do, and I really stuck with it. And uh, that's interesting because because in the book you say you so you grew up watching soaps, and soaps was that was the goal. Oh yeah. So that, I mean, that was, that's so funny because it's one of those things where, you know, I, people ask me if, you know, the, what I've achieved has exceeded my goals and, and it did at a, at a very early age because, you know, that was my goal. I really wanted to be on a soap and make my family proud. And, you know, and because that happened so soon after I graduated college and came out, you know, and um, booked all my children, it, it, but then, you know, life is full of ups and downs. And then, you know, at some point, you know, I'm, I'm doing that and that's the whole career path I thought I had, but then you get, you know, you, you I got fired from days of our lives, not from anything other than, you know, the storyline just changes. And all of a sudden it's like, I, I, I get scared. Like, I don't want my life to go back to what it was. I can't, you know, what am I going to do? Because when you're auditioning, you're not in charge of when you work. And so that's why I got my real estate license. And I think that's a great lesson is that, you know, sometimes when something feels devastating or like the end of the world, it actually pushes you to places that you wouldn't have gone if you were comfortable. And so I, you know, that's one of the things that I like sharing, you know, I would have never gotten my real estate license if I hadn't gotten fired from what I thought was my ultimate dream job. Right, right. And, and you say it in the book, but you were a real estate agent before selling Sunset, and then they cut, they brought you in for the show. Um, but you but you have become really good friends with all these people that are on the show, right? Are yeah. you surprised by how you guys all just melded together? You know, I am because I remember, you know, in season one, kind of coming in thinking that, you know, just like any TV job, you know, you you might connect with a couple people, but I was in a different place in my life. You know, I. I was, you know, driving from the valley, you know, kind of showing up to work and then going home. And it was just um, and then, you know, kind of losing everything that I knew that was my personal life and and really just bonding with the people that, you know, are there for you when times are really hard. It's, you know, now I feel like we are family. I mean, there's such a, you know, a group of us that. You know, these there's so many things that are amazing that aren't on camera all the time that, you know, we're just some of us are like sisters at this point. Right, right. Um, Ladies, I've got some big news. People probably think this is like this is their biggest. Is the drama real? 
<laughs> okay, so I have, I mean, as much as I would love to say that it's not because I love soaps and I love playing the drama, in real life, it's different. You know, you have to take this stuff home with you and it makes it uh, stressful and uh, there's a lot of anxiety with that. And so it, it is real. I think that, you know, you can kind of see by the way that things have happened when the cameras are off and we, we have to talk about things that, you know, it's 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 real. Um, unfortunately, you know, now I'm hoping that, you know, it's hard. We're all getting to a place where, you know, the show is such a success. It's such a gift to our business and to everything. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, enough time has passed that we can kind of you know, even for the viewer's sake, it's, I watch reality TV. It's, it doesn't get fun when you kind of get stuck on these things. So a lot of time has passed. We filmed four and five together. Mm -hmm. um, but hopefully when we, you know, in the future, when we go to film, I'm hoping that, you know, we can kind of try and re, you know, what's the word reset everything. Right. But yeah, the drama has been real. And it's been a process of trying to, to figure out that balance of, Okay, we are stuck together, guys. Like we need to figure this out. Oh, one final question. So my my boss, executive producer Jeff, he loves selling Sunset because of Christine. What does that say about Jeff? Oh, well, I I mean, I I love I mean, she brings such a fun flair for the clothes and of course, you know, she brings the drama. And, you know, that's what half of what people love watching the show for. So whether, you know, we have our own personal stuff going on, I'll always be the first person to give her mad respect for the fact that she makes for great television. She's right. an important part of the show. And I think that, you know, we definitely can all agree on that. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ted's laugh. <laughs> oh, I love our family. You can meet uh, Chriselle at the Mall of America today. I hope you're not watching the rerun. She'll be signing books from 5 to 7 at the Rotunda. This is airing on Thursday. Our poor folks in Wisconsin get, gets this a day later. And as a bonus, Ted, the full Ted Johnson interview with Chriselle is available on our YouTube page. Gather the family. Uh, see... See what she says about almost becoming the bachelorette. We'll be right back. Back in a moment, my friends. Come on, kids. Ted Johnson has another interview.